My name is Frida Giduku from uh, Groot Kenya. We are a women's rights organization. We are a member of the International Land Coalition and the Feminist Land Platform. I am grateful to be here. I'm happy that us as African has this space where we can debate uh, our own issues around go land governance. As you know, land uh, in our continent has uh, a lot of interest. There are many people since colonial time that have uh, been trying to stamp their authority in Africa and take control of our resources. And I'm happy that uh, we have our own space to debate how do we deal with all this interest and specifically on the issue of land corruption. We've had a variety of discussion. Uh, I'm quite impressed that the issue of gender justice and women land rights has uh, been put on the spotlight in a big way. And I do hope that this is not just a matter of political correctness. And the reason why I'm saying that is because corruption uh, leads to failed public service and that's the greatest impact it has had in Africa. And women then steps in to fill the gaps left by the state, whether it is in healthcare or it is in supply for water. You find that a lot of women are very time poor because they spend most of their time taking care of sick people who should be at the hospital and uh, fetching water and all these things. And this undermines their own development outcomes. So for us, the issue of uh, land governance, dealing with corruption is important for the achievement of gender equality and for women empowerment. But overall, uh, I would like to say there are also some things that I didn't like in the conference. Uh, first, I think in the selection of the panelists, especially for plenary, it would be good to hear more uh, original African voices because uh, sometime I felt like there was too much of the ideology from the global north that is being pushed and packaged in different way, which is detrimental because that's what we are struggling with. The SDG number 10 talks about reduced inequality among countries, and that will not be reduced if the community from north continue telling us how we should develop and how we should uh, solve the problem that we have in Africa because they are also part of uh, that problem. So that's something that I would like the ADB, AU and UNECA to look at. And of course, more voices of women and uh, sustain that conversation about gender justice and women land rights because um, it's a, it's a long-term thing. Uh, change doesn't happen uh, instantly. So we need to be consistent and put resources into it. But uh, overall, in terms of land governance, also we need to shift our conversation now from policy and laws and focus more on the practice, get the African government to resource and mobilize political goodwill around land reform. I did not see a lot of member states, uh, government represented by the Ministry of Lands or the National Land Commissions as I would have expected. And I think that is, um, that is worrying. It's something that we should look into because these are the people who with the mandates to implement the reforms that we are pushing for right now. But practice, 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 and measuring outcome is something that I would emphasize for the future uh, policy dialogue spaces like this one.